Welcome. I'm here to give my personal review on my six month old laptop, the Acer Predator Helios 16. I'm not going to dig in on too much technical details about this laptop, just my personal experience and opinion about this raw gaming power of a laptop. For some quick specs. This bad boy is packed with a high end NTL Core i9 13900X processor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4078 GB. GDR6 VRAM combo, enough to chew through AAA games on their highest settings. It has 16 gigabyte DDR5 5600 megahertz of memory and one terabyte PCI NVSF for storage. Uh, 16 inches 25, 60 by 1600 LED display with 240 hertz refresh rate. 90 watt hour of battery and packs a hefty 2.7 kilogram in weight. There are a bunch of things I like about the Predator Helios 16's design and a sorter but substantial list of things I don't. The big wedge that sticks out the back of the laptop was the first thing that drew my eye. It's diagonal lines and glossy finish look like something a committee might design to look futuristic. In other words, I hate it. It makes an already chunky, heavy laptop feel even more unwieldy. And if I needed this laptop for a work meeting, I'd feel self-conscious taking it out of my bag. But I can also recognize that this is unashamedly a gaming laptop and Acer is differentiating itself from the recent stream of sleek matte black gaming laptops that some find boring. It stands out and the wedge has fully customizable RGB lighting as well as removable spray paintable vents so you can make it your own. Plus that extra space has a practical purpose. You know, houses some of the Predator Helios 16's immaculate cooling system. Interestingly, the body of the laptop barely got hotter than lukewarm when powering through recent games at max settings and perhaps wouldn't work as well without that roomy chassis. The large footprint also gives you pretty much every port you could want. On the sides are combined three USB ports, two on the right side and one on the left side for connecting your peripherals along with gigabit ethernet, a micro slot, a headphone jack, and a Kensington security lock slot. Uh, so there sticks an HDMI. Two USB type C ports and a charging port on the back of the pruding wedge, which keeps cables out of sight and stops everything getting tangled. Body itself is plastic in some places and an alloy for both the lid and the keyboard plate. Decent enough but doesn't scream expensive or premium. The top lid is a fingerprint magnet and it feel a bit creaky when holding one corner of the lid closing. Not a fatal flaw, but at its price, you want it to feel a bit sturdy and expensive. Two things that do feel premium though are the keyboard and touchpad. The touchpad is one of the biggest I've seen in a laptop, so you can move your cursor around the large screen without having to lift your finger. I also like that the area you can press for a left or right mouse click is correspondingly giant, extending two thirds of the way up the pad. Here I had to look down to see where my finger was before trying to click. So most importantly, it's ultra responsive to movements, taps and zoom swipes. Not once did my tap fail to register and not once did it mistake a tap for a mouse click. On the keyboard above it, the keys press and rebound with the right level of tension and they're stiff enough to avoid accidental presses. Each key dips in the middle, and more than on most laptops, guiding your fingers into position during hectic gaming sessions. One huge selling point of this machine, the delightful 2560X 1600 pixel display with a refresh rate of 200 Fort highs. The IPS LCD screen felt bright, detailed, and colorful with pin sharp faces, crisp particle effects, and suitably foreboding dark areas. For the pre-installed software, it comes with a free version of McAfee antivirus and one central app called Predator Sense, which handles all its pre-installed tools like switching between different performance modes, audio modes, and customization of its RGB lighting. For its performance, as you'd expect from this combo of CPU and GPU, the Axe Predator Helio 16 is a gaming beast. You'll be able to play the latest games at the highest settings with smooth frame rates, and they'll all look gorgeous on the 1600p display, plus the 240 hertz refresh rate. Uh, screen makes anything you run at high frame rates feel flawless for battery life on default power modes. The Predator Helio 16 lasted 
four and a half hours on the test. It's acceptable, but certainly not impressive. For my verdict, after months of using this beast, it may not be perfect, but it shines where it counts. The powerful graphics and processor combo and great display are spot on for this price point. It's simply one of the best laptops to play demanding games on. That's all folks for my personal review of this laptop, the Acer Predator Helio 16. I hope I gave some insights about this laptop and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like and do subscribe to our channel for more tech reviews and updates. Bye.